Hi guys, so I know I look rough, but as you probably could tell based off of the title, this is a hair tutorial. It has been a while since I did a detailed tutorial for you guys, so I decided to do one for you guys. Today I'm gonna to be doing some chunky twists. This hair is supposed to got here a week ago. But since it didn't, um, and it finally arrived today, I'm gonna to go ahead and show you guys what I'm gonna be doing with it. I'm gonna actually be doing some chunky twists because I really just wanted something I can wear a little bit longer um, that can pull up, let down, especially since I start working out again. I wanna make sure I have something that's a little bit more flexible for what I'm gonna be doing throughout the day. So here is the hair I'm going to be using. It is the Two Time Afro Twist Out Braid from the Janet Collection. Um, it's a little bit softer from what I've seen so far. I got about 10 bags of this hair just because I know I want to do the braids a little bit thicker. So I want to make sure I wasn't going to run out. Typically when I do these types of styles, which I haven't done in one in years, I use about 10 bags of the hair um, or close to 10 bags of the hair. I want to make sure that I had enough. So first I want to show you guys my braiding pattern, which is really not a braiding pattern. I am not good with gripping, right? So I, I'm just, I'm bad at it. So when I do my braided styles, it's typically for the girls with trouble. Struggle? I don't know what I'm saying. Hold on, get it it's typically for my girls with the uh, struggle grip. I, I don't grip well. Um, so I try to do hairstyles that I can kind of adjust to my grip game because I ain't got none. So let me show you what we got going on. So in the middle, there are braids and on the perimeter, there are individual little plaits. I'm doing the rubber band method um, on the perimeter of my head all the way around. So I did about two rows in the front and two rows at the back. Let me show you what I mean. You can see that they're part of, yeah, I got grays, guys. I've had them most of my life. Don't judge my life, I promise you. It's just normal for me. So I got them separated into plaits at the front and then at the back, I can get it good for you guys. There are just little plaits. I said little plaits, they're braids <laughs> in the entire middle section. And I do the end of the braids into the next braid. And then on the side, what I did was I took the, what was remaining of the braid and I put it together in one small plait because that section was too small for me to do a braid with. And it was also too small for it to be an individual um, plait. So doing my hair this way, it's usually a lot easier for me to get finished because I'm not good at, even when I have a rubber band gripping in the middle, um, and it's usually really loose and I don't like that. And this also helps me go faster because it takes forever when I'm trying to do the grip right in the middle and then I don't like what it's like and I take it down and I gotta start again. I don't like that. So I just did braids <laughs> in the middle. I'm gonna crochet the hair under the braid and I'm gonna twist it down. Pretty much the same way I would do with the individual plaits. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and then I'll come back and show you guys um, exactly how I'm doing this process. A few moments later. All right, guys, so I'm gonna reach a stopping point. Um, I'm gonna go make something to eat because I hadn't cooked yet. So I'm gonna show you guys where I am so far. Uh, I pretty much got, I'm gonna sleep these down, don't worry. Um, just about all of the back. And the whole left side, I still got two packs of hair left. Um, so I should have enough, especially just to get this part covered up and then I'll figure this little section out here if I run out. But I think I only have six up here left and I think I'm getting about four braids from each pack or four twists from each pack because I'm doing such chunky twist. Um, so I have about, I got two packs left so I have eight left. So I'll have these and then I'll be able to put some back here too. So I should be just fine. I'm gonna make dinner and then I'll come back when I'm finished. <laughs> All right guys, so I am nearing the end. I wanted to show you what I'm doing up here. In the middle, I just crocheted the hair under the braid and I just did a twist off of that braid. But at the top and in the back where I have the individual ones, um, I'm doing like a, a braid, but it's easier to grip when you don't have to, um, when you have a band on it. So let me show you how I do that. All right guys, so I'm using about five pieces hair for each individual braid and like I said it's just easier to grip with the um or band on there so it's just I'm just going to get them there it's just pretty much just a wrap around the same way you would do a normal plait just plait it around your hair Go down a little bit of a ways. Mm. 
And then I catch the end of my real hair with some um, gel just because it sometimes fuzzes. It doesn't show as much in this hair, but I still do it. And then I just twist. Um, and a part of the twisting is you twist while you twist. So each time I'm spinning my hand, you see this hand spinning? It's like a twist while I'm twisting. like really smooth and that part gets a little bumpy but it's okay because I kind of want them to look messy so now I am going to um, dip this hair um, just to help it set and stay a little bit because otherwise you see how that one kind of cur curls up that way they'll kind of straighten out and lay down um, and not be standing at all awkward on my head. Now, if you want them to be really neat, you want to go back in, fix this little part here. But since I'm okay with them looking kind of um, fuzzy and unwindy, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to show you guys I can, but this one's going to speed it up. So. Yeah. Right, you guys so i am finished installing the hair i did use all 10 bags all 10 bags there's a piece of hair left um ooh, that's that hurts all right so here is what it looks like i am going like i said to dip the hair tomorrow um right now i just need to get some rest and i'll just pull it up because you can see the ends are interesting until they're dipped so I'll add all my extra pieces and everything else um, when I do that. So I'll see you guys then. So this is the final look with this hair. I actually really, really like it. Um, it turned out great. I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see the back. Um, so far, so good. I did try to slick my hairline down, you guys. You see, it's already coming up. <laughs> and do not wanna play with me today. Um, but yeah, uh, overall it took me about three hours um, to do the install and another 40 or so to do the braids. It's really easy once you um, get your grip going with the rubber bands. So I was just choo -choo -choo -choo, and I stopped. I stopped like twice, once to eat dinner. So that's including that time as well. So if you can figure out your grip game, you guys, on this style, it goes so fast. <laughs> As I mentioned before, I used uh, 10 packs of this hair. Get out of my way, get out of there. I, I just wanna go to. I used 10 packs of this hair, guys. I used all 10 packs, no joke. All 10 packs, there are no pieces left. <laughs> um, I said like I have a big head. I know most people use about eight, but I know I have a lot more circumference in there. Um, where's the radius? No radius is like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do math right now. But I know that I have a lot more head. <laughs> 
in there. So I typically get more bags of hair. I could have actually used another one if I wanted to, but I actually like how it turned out. So it's okay that I didn't get that extra bag of hair. Um, but I think this is beautiful. <laughs> I love the pop of blue that I put in there. I like the white as well. Well, it's actually 613 in blue that I use and the other color is 1B. Um, I will link this hair in the description if you guys want to try it for yourselves. Um, I used five pieces of hair for each individual twist. For some reason it seems like the different color ones came out a little bit thicker, a little bit thicker than the 1B. And this 1B seems to be a little bit more brown. Um, 1B usually matches my hair perfectly, but the brown is showing up a bit more in some of them. I don't know if you can see any of it, but it looked perfectly good on camera, so they just kind of <laughs> messed it all up. But overall, the hair is doing really well so far. I only had it in since yesterday, but um, with rubber bands, there isn't as much tension, so it's not as hard to sleep on, which is great. In the middle, you guys know I did the crochet method. I did the exact same amount of hair, but when I put the crochet needle through and I pulled it, I turned it to the side. When you twist it, it makes it easier to slide through underneath those braids when it's a thicker amount of hair like I used. So that's just a tip if you're gonna do crochet this style. You can do crochet over your entire head, but the reason why I didn't want to is so that I can pull it back and it conceal um, the crochet in the middle. Um, and plus I wanted it to wear it up and down in all different types of ways. And if I did crochet, you could see the braids and things like that. There are ways to do it without being able to see it. For instance, if you do like the individual plaits and then connect them, you can do it that way and it won't show either. So this though, I actually love so much. This looks weird up here, but it's only because of how the braids are boxed out. Um, it's actually not bad at all. It's lightweight. I love it. I love this. So that is all I have for you guys. If you have any questions about this hair, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll answer any question that you have. Again, I will leave the link to the hair in the description box. My hair underneath actually has a leave-in conditioner spray, um, a little bit of grease and oil, as well as some long gate gel, which I also use. It's kind of a moisturizing gel. It's all underneath these braids to keep my hair moisturized. And I also grease my scalp with some blue magic. So you guys make sure you make sure make sure <laughs> that you are oiling your scalp to make sure you don't have any dryness, any flakiness, any irritation and itching, um, especially when you're doing protective styles like these, because sometimes it can happen. I dip this hair into hot water. I held it in for 15 seconds I did four chunky sections and it still laid them down nicely so quick easy setting style it's great it's great that's all I got it's great so again thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video